Well, hello there. I wanted to create a video as a thank you and a happy birthday to someone who has been instrumental in my success. And I wanted to wish Peter Shankman a happy birthday. Now, if you don't know who Peter Shankman is, first of all, you're living under a rock if you don't. <laughs> He's really a great guy and someone that you should get to know. So the first three are incredibly selfish. Number one, he is the reason why I even have a YouTube channel, why I have moved my business around and and created something very different from where it was before. So I had worked with Peter in the past and he was instrumental in helping me develop this plan as was his mastermind group. Being involved with Peter was also instrumental in helping me get what I call my tagline together for my business. It was very helpful to be able to, in a very short amount of time and a very small investment because everything that you do in business when you're doing it wrong, it's actually a cost. It was a mastermind, I think it was in New York City, could have been Washington DC, I forget actually, but it was one of those. And it was instrumental in helping me get my tagline, I call it. And this tagline is something that drives everything that I do. So it's more of a philosophy or some people would say it's their why. And that is something that came out much later, but Peter Shankman was doing that years before. And it was actually, it, it's just something that helps motivate you and get you into that place of knowing that everything that you're doing is with that undercurrent of the philosophy and what drives you. And so it was he and his mastermind group that actually helped me to get to that place. Number three, he is the reason why I have been interviewed and featured in places like the Wall Street Journal, Forbes, and the Chicago Tribune, and a lot of other media. So it's because of Peter Shankman that I was able to get my name out there and get the credibility that I've worked so hard for for 30 years. Now that I've got all of the selfishness out of the way. Here are the reasons why you should get to know Peter Shankman above and beyond all of his business savvy and assets and all of that stuff. So number four is that I think Peter Shankman has a really funny personality. He has a sense of humor. Notice that he has a great sense of humor. Number five, what I really like about Peter Shankman is that he's very transparent about his struggles. And he doesn't really see struggles as something that's stopping him. He sees struggles as a challenge and a way to find a solution. And some of the struggles that he's had in his life, he actually turned into solutions, not just for himself, but for many people. Number six. Okay, this is a big now, we all know that there's a lot of coaches out there, a lot of mentors out there. A lot of them are kind of jerks. You know what I'm saying? Peter Shankman isn't here to be your guru. What he does is he raises people up. So even in an environment more one-on-one -on -one with him in a small group, it was amazing to see how he wasn't just like standing there like, okay, what I say is gold and everyone else is below me. It was not like that at all. And I actually did expect that. I sort of expected I'm going to walk into this room and this guy who like has been a part of everything is going to just look down on everybody. And he's not like that at all. He understands your struggles because he's been there, but he really raises everyone up. I remember specifically that he even gave the floor to people that had just joined into the group and so forth, and they were up teaching. And it was so great to see that kind of synergy and that energy and that raising of everyone. Everybody that was involved that I remember on that day was inspiring, and I never felt like anyone was sitting in the background. Number seven piggybacks on number six. He is a connector. So in addition to raising other people upward, he also helps others to connect to each other he wants interaction. He wants people to interact with each other and raise each other up and to help each other because that is where all good business really comes from. Now, for those of you who have been in other coaching groups or masterminds or whatever, and like I've been in a lot of them, you will notice that most of, so they have some level of popularity. I don't know about the success level, okay? But here's what I notice. 
there's an insecurity that's under a lot of them. And that insecurity is stopping them from helping other people interact with each other. So when you see that level of basically stifling, smothering, choking the love and life out of you, that's when you know, this is when you know that person doesn't want people to expand and, and grow, where he actually does do the opposite of all of that. And he wants people to grow and succeed. And he wants people to connect. Another thing you need to know about him is he wrote this book that I absolutely love, Zombie Loyalists. And it's all about accountability for businesses. Everyone's out there marketing and, and doing all of these things where they're just like running on a hamster wheel. And if they would just treat the people that they already have really great, they would get more word of mouth marketing and PR and everything else, and they would get more fans and more loyal fans. The good thing about that book is that you will get a lot out of it. The bad thing about that book is that people are going to want to borrow it, and then they're not going to return it, and then you're going to end up ranting online about how someone borrowed your book and you're never going to see it again. Number nine, he understands if you are neuroatypical. Now, a lot of you who are not are going to have no idea probably what I just said. And what that really means is you think differently. A lot of CEOs, a lot of business owners, a lot of uh, people who are quirky, maybe you want to call it. Some people call it weird, but I like to call it quirky. If you are someone who's really a go-getter or very independent and your mind just works a little differently, he gets it. And lastly, number 10, what I really love about Peter Shankman and and everything that he is, and especially for him on his birthday, is that he really focuses on life balance. So he balances family and fitness, wellness and business and, and all of that. A lot of his emails, if you get on his email list, are really about life balance, not so much just about being in business. If you want to be in business, you got to stay healthy. Your health if your um, level of happiness isn't where it needs to be, your business is going to suffer. And if it doesn't suffer, it's actually going to at least feel harder than it has to be. That is my happy birthday to Peter Shanklin. And so Peter, thank you very much for everything that you've done for me. You have no idea how you've helped me through my life. And, and I really thank you for everything that you are as just a being. Thank you. And now I'm going to sing happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh wait, <laughs> I need a microphone. By the way, they still sell these and I love them. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm nuts.